Hey Steve. How's it going Nick? It's going good and uh, I know there's some new stuff from you guys. Uh, I'm a user of the blue box and you've managed to somehow cram it into Euro Rack, which seems a bit of an unusual concept because of the way everything goes. So tell me a little bit about it. So the blue box for Eurorack came um, as a response to a lot of our customers begging us to put the blue box desktop um, that's been out for years uh, in a Eurorack format. And so we finally did it. Uh, they are essentially the same machines. The software that runs in both of them are, is identical. The difference would be in the physical um, jacks. The back of the desktop has all stereo inputs and outputs that can be split. The Eurorack version has mono inputs and outputs that could be combined as stereo. The Blue Box Eurorack edition also features the six CV inputs. So you can uh, map those to virtually any knob or slider or dial inside the blue box. Uh, you can set them to pan or level or oh, EQ neat. or anything. Can you do effect sends? Effect sends, all, all, yeah. Basically, everything that can be adjusted, you could adjust with MIDI or with CV. In addition to that, another little bonus, we added, uh, we are using two USB-C ports. One of them is dedicated to MIDI. So, you know, you can map uh, any of the various controls to MIDI. Or the other one is dedicated to USB audio. So presently we are sending and receiving two tracks in both directions over USB. So this means that you can plug in uh, a Mac, a PC, or even an iPad, um, and you can play to that, from that. You can do both at the same time. You can also still record all 12 tracks plus a master track, plus the two effect sends separately on oh, the micro SD card okay. while you send your two tracks back and forth over USB. Oh, that's great because I think my original uh, review, I was wishing to be able to record the effect separately so you could have a dry and a wet mix, so now you can do that, brilliant. Well, we have worked it out um, with the Blue Box desktop edition so that uh, in the next month or two, you'll see a firmware update and we're bringing the stereo audio in both directions to the Blue Box desktop as well. And will that use up one of the channels or is that actually done? Uh, you'll use, yeah, you'll basically have to pick one of the input tracks and you'll either use the physical input or you will use the USB input. But you can put it anywhere that you want it. Oh, that's really neat. Yeah, I can imagine that. That makes quite a big difference to the functionality, doesn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. What's the, uh, what's the cost? Do you know the cost of the Eurorack uh, version? In the US, the desktop is still 649, and I believe the Eurorack edition will be 699, so it's not that much more. And it does come in only 30 HP, so it's actually pretty compact for what you get. Neat, neat. and I like the fact that you've got a bit more space around the connectors, because it's quite, on the desktop, you have to use very specific connectors to be yeah. able to fit them together, right? So yeah, you don't really uh, you don't really need any of the splitters or anything like that. You just plug directly in. The Blue Box uh, Eurorack Edition also features a clock output, so you can drive your other gear with MIDI. You can drive your other gear with Eurorack clock as well. Oh, that's really handy. So you could, if you if you put stems in it, you could sync up your. Oh, neat. Okay, smashing it, you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.